In this video, I will go through how to draw holding patterns to determine what type of entry parallel teardrop or direct an aircraft should make into the holding pattern. A very quick introduction to holding patterns. Uh, sometimes there is a need to delay an aircraft in flight, maybe to increase air traffic separation or to change the aircraft's heading safely and smoothly to align it with a runway or just to give the pilot some extra time to configure the avionics. A holding pattern is used in such cases. It is a racetrack shaped maneuver that keeps the aircraft around a specified fix until ATC and the pilot are ready to resume the flight. Here's an example IFR chart and you can see some holds depicted here. There's one here, there's one right here. There are some more towards the bottom of the chart. These are all holding patterns which are published on the chart. Here is an approach chart with holds. There's a hold here while coming in to land at the runway. And for some reason, if the aircraft is not able to land and has to take the missed approach, here is the mixed approach hold, which is published in this box. So if the aircraft takes the missed approach, follow this procedure. And the last word here says and hold which is fly around in this pattern until ATC gives you further instructions. Let's look at some terms associated with holds. Let's look at some terms related to holds. The side that the aircraft is holding on is called the holding side and the other side is called the non-holding side and a region of the airspace around the hold is protected. The protection is more on the holding side and it's less on the non-holding side. So the aircraft should stay on the holding side of the fix. The inbound leg is in the direction to the holding fix. This right here is the holding fix. It can be a VOR, a VOTAC, or a TACAN, any waypoint, any intersection, anything that can be identified uh, on the chart. So the inbound leg is the leg that is going to the fix and in parallel is the outbound leg which is going away from the fix. Now some holding patterns are shown on the chart but, but ATC can also give instructions to hold around an arbitrary fix or waypoint uh, which may not be published on the chart. The image that I showed at the beginning is from this Portis blog on holding and the three types of hold entries, recommended hold entries are parallel, teardrop and direct. The direct entry sector is the one shaded in blue here. If the aircraft is coming in from any of these directions, it's relatively easier for the aircraft to go to the fix and then join the hold pattern. So that's why it's the direct entry. Then you see the green sector here, which is called the parallel entry. Now it will be very difficult for the aircraft to come in like this and make a steep turn right here and join the hold. So what the aircraft needs to do in this case is after crossing the fix, fly outbound on the inbound leg for some time and then turn around and then rejoin the inbound leg and then continue holding in that area. And the last one is here in the teardrop sector. So teardrop sector aircraft will come in like this, cross the fix, continue around the inbound leg and then cross the fix again and continue holding. Let's take some examples of how to draw the holding patterns to determine what type of entry the aircraft uh, should be making. Here's the first sample question referred to figure 113 and you receive this ATC clearance. Hold east of the ABC VORTAC on the 0 0.9 or 0 radial left turns. What is the recommended procedure to enter the holding pattern? And figure 113 shows that the approach course is 0 0.60. That's the only piece of information that we need from the HSI shown on the left. Let's see how to draw this hold and determine our uh, sector of entry. Uh, let's assume this is a VORTAC and I will draw a straight line to the east. So this is the 0, 090 0 radial from the VORTAC. Question says hold east of the VORTAC. So we'll be holding on this side and the inbound leg is always towards the VORTAC. So I put an arrow there. Now it says make left turns. So if we make left turns, let's extend this further. If we make left turns, we will get something like this and this will be the outbound leg. Imagine you are holding a pencil between the fix and the point where you join the inbound leg, right? Now swing the pencil 70 degrees to the holding side. So let's say this angle right here is 70 degrees towards the holding side and I'm swinging the pencil this side. On the other side, the non-holding side, extend that line. So this will be 110 degrees. Now this 180 degree that we just drew 
this is the direct entry sector. I will take a different color pen here. The exact opposite of the 70 degrees that is this one that we had drawn earlier. So this is also 70 degrees. The exact opposite is the teardrop sector. And whatever is remaining is the parallel entry sector. So this portion right here is parallel entry. So this is how we have our sectors. Now just label, let's label the lines 160 degrees and the reciprocal of 160 will be 340 degrees. Now we have 90 here on the right hand side, this one, and the reciprocal of that on the other side is 270 degrees. The HSI shows that the aircraft is on a 060 degree course, which means it is going towards the northeast. That means it will come or approach the fix from the southwest. So it will come something like this. Let's say this is the aircraft and it is pointing towards the northeast, approaching from the southwest. Now the sector of entry is based on where the aircraft will come from towards the fix. And in this case, the answer is the parallel entry. Let's take another example. It's the same figure 113. So the approach course of 060 is the same, but the holding instruction is different. The holding instruction is clear to the ABC Vortac, hold south on the 180 radial. So let's see how to draw this one out. I'll just make a quick triangle as the holding fix. And it says hold south on the 180 radial. There is no direction of turn indicated, which means it's a standard turn that is right turns. So if I draw the 180 radial out, we'll need the 360 as well. Let me draw that here. Our inbound leg will be on the 180 radial. And we'll make right turns. So right turns like this. So our outbound will be going south. Now same thing, I will just assume I have a, I'm holding a pencil between the holding fix and where I meet the, um, meet the inbound radial. And I will try to swing it 70 degrees to the holding side in this direction. So 70 degrees, let's say we'll go something like this. So swing it 70 degrees. And then I will extend that line out on the non-holding side to an additional 110 degrees, right? So if I label these, um, these lines, so this will be 110 degrees and the reciprocal of that will be 290. So 110 plus 180, the reciprocal is 290 degree line. This is our direct entry exactly opposite to the 70 degree. So which will be here will be our teardrop entry and whatever is remaining will be the parallel entry sector. So this is our parallel entry sector. So that's what our holding pattern looks like. Now approach course is 60 degrees. So again, the aircraft is going to the Northeast. So it will approach from the Southwest. So it will approach from here, something like this. And this is in 60 degree direction. Now this time it's in the, in the blue side, in the 110 side, and that is the direct entry sector. So the answer to this question is direct entry into this holding pattern. Let's take another example, which is slightly more complex. So this one says hold west of the 15 DME fix on the 090 radial. Holding fix is the 15 DME fix. The VOTAC doesn't really matter for the holding pattern, right? But that's just to get to the 15 uh, DME fix, right? Let's say this is the VOTAC here. It's the 0, 09 or 0 radial. So let's assume this triangle right here is at 15 DME fix. So this distance is 15 DME, 15 nautical miles. Let me erase this so we don't get confused with the holding pattern. Hold west and left turns. That's what matters for us. Now the inbound leg will be towards the DME fix because the DME fix is the holding fix. And if we are making left turns, we'll go this way and let me draw the outbound. 
and put the arrow there um, to indicate that's outbound. So this is what our pattern looks like. Again, same thing. Let's assume that I'm holding a pencil between the fix and where I'm joining uh, the inbound leg and draw 70 degrees towards the holding line. Draw line 70 degrees. So this is 70 degrees. Extend it on the other side to an additional 110 degrees. And this is my direct entry sector. The angle exactly opposite 70 degrees, the original 70 degrees right here, is the teardrop sector. And whatever is remaining is the parallel entry sector. So now I'll uh, label the lines here. This is 270. 270 plus 70. So this is 340 right here. And then below the reciprocal of 340, I will subtract 180 from 340. So this will come out to 160. Now let's see, the, the question says you arrive at the 15 DME fix on a heading of 350. So heading of 350 will be something like this. If it's going 350, the reciprocal of 350 is 170. So it's coming from 170 and going towards 350, which means the aircraft is somewhat like this. And now you can see it is in the direct entry sector for this holding pattern. One last example, which is at a different angle than 180 or 90. So refer to figure 113. Um, the approach course is 060. That's the information we need from that HSI. And the clearance is clear to the ABC VORTAC, hold northwest on the 330 radial. What is the recommended procedure? I'll try to draw the VORTAC here. Okay. So let's assume this is the ABC VORTAC. 360 will be straight up. So I'll draw 330, something like this. So this is the 330 radial. And we are supposed to hold northwest on this radial. And the turn is not given. So it's a standard turn, right hand. So my inbound course to the ABC VORTAC in this case will be this way. So I draw an arrow there. And if I'm making a right turn, then I will go something like this. Let me draw this out. So I'll make right turns here and my outbound will look something like this. And this will be my outbound leg. Now this is 330 up here. The reciprocal of that is 150, 330 minus 180. Now what I will do is the same thing. Assume that I'm holding a pencil between the fix and this point. The protected side is to the west. I will draw, I will swing my pencil to the west side 70 degrees it will look something like this and then i'll extend this line on the non-holding side to an additional 110 degrees so this is 70 this is 110 and this entire sector is my direct entry sector any aircraft coming from this side anything that is on the exact opposite of the original 70 so this one here this will be my teardrop entry sector aircraft coming from this and whatever is left will be my parallel entry this angle right here this sector is my parallel entry sector so now our approach course is 060 which means the aircraft is going north east which means it's coming from the southwest the other way to think about it is the reciprocal of 060 is 060 plus 180 that is 240 so 240 radial will look something like this so this is the aircraft on radial 240 and it's heading on an approach course of 060 so you can see that it is in the parallel entry sector all right so that's the holding pattern drawing video i hope this helps in understanding how to draw the holding pattern and determine which sector the aircraft would enter from there are other ways of determining uh, the sector and for example there is this uh, holding pattern computer and there is also a thumb method which i'm yet to explore if this video helped you please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends it really helps me a lot and i will see you in the next video thank you